We're now going to look at rotational symmetry. If an object's got rotational symmetry, it can be rotated some amount and it will look the same. Let's look at some examples. Okay, here we've got the uh, king of diamonds, and what we're going to do is we're going to see if it's got rotational symmetry. So remember, if an atom's got rotational symmetry, it can be rotated some amount and it will look the same. So if I was to turn this shape through 180 degrees, it will look exactly the same as when it did when it restarted. That means that this card does have rotational symmetry. Okay, now let's look at how we define that for different objects. So if I go back to the starting position, if you turn it through 360 degrees, it will have one, two, positions exactly the same as the starting position. That means that this shape has got rotational symmetry of order 2. Let's have a look at another object. Okay, uh, we've now got a Triskelion. Uh, it's actually on the Isle of Man flag. Um, it's quite interesting if you want to have a look at it. And what we're going to do is we're going to see the order of rotational symmetry for this Triskelion. So let's rotate it through 360 degrees. Let's look at the starting position here just to help us. Okay, so anytime you see a foot in this position, it will be the same. So let's have a look. So for 360 degrees, one, two, Three. So this shape has got an order of rotational symmetry of three. So it's got rotational symmetry order of three. Let's look at another object. Okay, so here we've got a flower. Uh, looking at it, uh, you can even start to now get a sense of what the order of rotational symmetry will, will be. It's got one, two, three, four, five petals. It looks all the same, so I've got a feeling it might have order of rotational symmetry five. Let's have a look. So let's put the star uh, dot there to start off with. So let's turn it through, rotate it through 360 degrees. One, two, three, four, and five. So this shape has got a rotational symmetry of order five. Okay, so let's look at the rotational symmetry of this square with a crescent moon inside. As you turn it through 360 degrees, it doesn't have any position the same until you get back around to the starting position. So this has got order of rotational symmetry, order 1. So it's rotational symmetry, order 1. However, whenever you look at the definition of rotational symmetry, to have rotational symmetry, it has to have a position the same as you turn it through some amount or some degree. So this shape, even though it has order 1, it has got no rotational symmetry. So all the other shapes that you had seen before with order 2, order 3, order 4, etc. have got rotational symmetry. But if a shape has got order 1, then it has no rotational symmetry. For instance, this playing card, whenever you turn it through 360 degrees, it has only got one position the same, so it's order 1, but it has no rotational symmetry. Okay, so here's a typical exam question. Uh, typically, they link in line symmetry uh, do a line symmetry question and then put in a rotational symmetry question. So here we've got four road signs. We've got the roundabout sign, um, keep to the left sign, I think, uh, both way sign and a 30, uh, 30 mile an hour speed limit sign. And it says, uh, write down the letters of, um, so it says two of these road signs is one line of symmetry, write down the letters of each of the two signs. So uh, let's think the 30 mile an hour sign could be cut across there. So it's got a line of symmetry, so it's D. And also suppose B, you could go down diagonally through here, so that would have line symmetry as well. Now let's look at the rotational symmetry question. Only one of the four signs has rotational symmetry. Remember, to have rotational symmetry, it's got to have at least order two, so order two, three, four, etc. Okay. So to have rotational symmetry, it's got to be able to have at least, one, uh, at least two positions the same as you turn it through 360 degrees. So if you look, this one, you would spin it round, and obviously it would only be the same whenever you get around the starting position. Same with the 30 mile an hour one. And this triangle, as you turn it through 360 degrees, each time you look at it, you know the arrows don't point in exactly the same position until you get around to the start. However, let's look at the roundabout sign. Notice the way here, the bit at the bottom's uh, got the arrow there. It's sort of, it's, um, 
Yeah, as you turn it through 360 degrees, you notice there it's the same, and there it's the same. So that sign there, sign A, has got rotational symmetry, and it says right down the order of rotational symmetry, it's order of three, because it's got three positions the same as you turn it through 360 degrees. Now let's look at another question. This question, it's got a table, and it's got name of shape, rectangle kite, it's got a couple of pictures, and you've got to fill in the missing the blanks really. Okay, so let's start off with the rectangle. Draw a diagram with the rectangle. Make sure you use your ruler, but obviously a rectangle would look something like that using your ruler, obviously. Uh, number of lines of symmetry two, you know, through there vertically and horizontally. Order of rotational symmetry. Well, as you turn it upside down, it's the same as a certain position. So it's got order of rotational symmetry two. The kite, uh, the, there's a picture of the kite, lines of symmetry, well the kite has a line of symmetry going straight down the middle, like that. So it's lines of symmetry 1. Order of rotational symmetry 1, because as you turn it through 360 degrees, it's only got the starting position the same as the finishing position, so it doesn't have rotational symmetry. And remember, if it doesn't have rotational symmetry, it's only or it's order 1. Uh, there you go, another ship. This one is a uh, rhombus. You can tell it's a rhombus because all four sides are the same sides, but they're not right angles. It's not a square because you can see that the angles aren't all 90 degrees, so it's a rhombus. Lines of symmetry, two. One down vertically, one horizontally. So order two. Uh, or sorry, lines of symmetry, two. And order of rotational symmetry, two. Because as you turn it through 360 degrees, it's the same upside down as the starting position. So order of rotational symmetry, two. 